Yeah, wearing the same clothes today. <laughs> well, you guys have a blessed day today, YouTube. Everybody on here that, um, that's stuck in there and, and uh, stuck with the channel. Just thank you, you know. Um, Thank you, Father, for this day. Bless it according to your will, Lord. Thank you for providing for us and protecting us and loving us unconditionally. Thank you for having faith in us, even when we're faithless at times. Praise you, Lord, and Thank you for the man that I am today. Thank you for your mercies that are new with each sunrise. Thank you for your grace, for without it we'd all be doomed to gnashing of teeth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For building us up in the ways of our Father. Thank you, Lord. Forgive us of our sins, Father. For we know that we fall short of your glory every day. Every day. But glorify us, Father. So that we can be one with you where you are. And see you as you are. Jesus' name, amen. We'll be reading from Luke chapter 8 this morning. Let's eat. Now it came to pass <coughs> afterward that he went through every city and village, preaching and bringing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God and the twelve were with him and a certain woman who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities called Mary uh, Mary called Magdalene out of whom had come seven demons and jo Joanna the wife of Chusa Yeah, jo and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others who provided for him from their, from their substance. And when a great multitude had gathered, and they had come to him from every city, he spoke by a parable. A sower went out to sow. A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell by the wayside. And it was trampled down, and the birds of the air devoured it. Some fell on rock, and as soon as it sprang up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. But others fell on good ground, sprang up, and yielded a crop a hundredfold. When he had said these things, he cried, Hmm. The more you eat, the fuller you get. And when he said these things, he cried. Jesus cried. He who has an ear let, to hear, let him hear. Then his disciples asked him, saying, What does this parable mean? And he said, To you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to the rest it is given in parables, that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. <coughs> There's a lot going on here for us to, to understand. I'll read chapter, uh, yeah, verse 10 again. And he said, to you it has been given, to you it has been given, 
the chosen <laughs> for many are called few are chosen yes okay to you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God but to the rest it is given in parables that seeing they may not see and hearing they may not understand some people are not chosen okay and they're not gonna understand Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are the ones who hear, then the devil comes and takes away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. But the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, who believe for a while and in a time of temptation fall away. Hmm. Hmm. who believe for a while and in time of temptation fall away. <clears throat> now the ones that fell among the thorns are those who, when they have heard, go out and are choked with cares, riches, and pleasures of life and bringing no fruit, fruit to maturity. But the ones that fell on the good ground are those who have, are those who, having heard the word, with a noble and good heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. Hmm. No one, when he has lit a lamp, covers it with a vessel or puts it under a bed, but sets it on a lampstand that those who enter may see the light. Hmm. Something to think about right there. I mean... You know, yeah. <laughs> verse 17, for nothing is secret that will not be revealed, nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. Therefore, take heed how you hear, for whoever has, to him more will be given, and whoever does not have, even what he, he seems to have will be taken from him. Then his mother and brothers came to him and could not approach him because of the crowd. And it was told him by some who said, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside desiring to see you. It's very important right here. And I, I, I talk with people about this all the time. But it's important what Jesus says right here. Now remember... But verse 19, let's go back and read it. Then his mother and brothers came to him and could not approach him because of the crowd. And it was told him by some who said, your mother and your brothers are out standing outside desiring to see you. But he answered and said to them, my, my mother and my brother are these who hear the word of God and do it. <laughs> and put it into practice. They do it. I just hear it. I just go to church on Sundays, Bible study on Wednesdays, and then live like hell all week long. <laughs> and think that they're, since they've said, said the words, they're, they're gonna be, yeah. yes, we're saved by grace, yes, yes. By, by the blood of Christ shed upon for all sin yes but listen what it says my mother and my brother brothers are those who hear the word of god and do it a lot of preachers don't preach this they want to hit your ears and say oh you know just just give your life to the lord and and and, and find you a good church get in it and and, and, and <laughs> you know you got to put it into practice man man I'm not perfect. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> but the Lord's El Roe, the Lord sees me. I know that. Now it happened at verse 22. Now it happened on a certain day that he got into a boat with his disciples and, and, and he said to them, let us cross over to the other side of the lake and they launched out. But as they set, sailed, he fell asleep and a windstorm came down on the lake 
and they were filling with and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy and they came to him and awoke him saying master master we are perishing then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased and there was a calm but he said to them where is your faith hmm. and they were afraid and marveled saying to one another who can this be for he commands even the winds and the water and they obey him hmm. then they sailed to the country of the Gadarenes which is opposite Galilee and when he stepped out on the land, there met him a certain man from the city who had demons for a long time. And he wore no clothes, nor did he live in a house but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out, fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, son of the most high God? This guy ain't never even seen Jesus before. Jesus never seen him before. <laughs> I beg you, do not torment me. <coughs> for he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For it had often seized him. And he was kept under guard, bound with chains and shackles. And he broke the bonds and was driven by the demon into the wilderness. Jesus asked him, saying, what is your name? And he said, Legion, because many demons had entered him, the legions of demons. And they begged him that he would not command them to go out into the abyss. Now a herd of many swine was feeding there on the mountain. So they begged him that he would permit them to enter them. And he permitted them. Then the demons went out of the man and entered the swine. And the herd ran violently down the steep place into the lake and drowned. <clears throat> when those who fed him, when those who fed them saw what had happened, they fled and told it to in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what had happened and came to Jesus and found the man whom the demons had to, oh, yeah, and found the man whom the demons had departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind, and in his right mind, and they were afraid. They also, who had seen it, told them by what means he who had been demon-possessed was healed. Then the whole multitude of the surrounding region of the Gadarenes asked him to depart from them and they were seized with great fear and he got into the boat and returned <laughs> it freaked them out you know because this is a guy that, now this guy's normal or what you want to call normal he's, he's in his right mind right <laughs> been tormenting this group of people for a long time and he got in the boat and returned. Now the man whom the demons had departed begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away saying, return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you.
sorry about that. I had to <clears throat> get onto this, this. This little pugs comes from way down here. He comes and he uses the bathroom in everybody's yards here. Uh, <laughs> anyway, okay. <laughs> so, so Jesus told, okay. Verse uh, 40. So it was when Jesus retain, returned that the multitude welcomed him, and they were all waiting for him. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue, and he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house, for he had an only daughter, about 12 years of age, and she was dying. But as he went, the multitudes thronged him. Now a woman, having a flow of blood for 12 years, who had spent all her livelihood on the physicians and could not be healed by any, spent all her money on paying the doctors. Anyway, she, she came from behind and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her flow of blood stopped. Immediately. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all, all denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitudes throng and press you. And you say, Who touched me? But Jesus said, Somebody touched me, for I perceive power going out from me. Now when the woman saw that she was not hidden, Hey! Dang it! Watch! Man. The devil don't want me to read the rest of this. Distraction after distraction here. Let's get it read, huh? <clears throat> Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitude thronged and pressed you, and you say, who touched me? And he's like in a crowd of people, you know? <laughs> Bumping into them and everything, right? <laughs> now when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him and declared to him in the presence of all the people that the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. Hmm. Just touching his garment in a throng of people, right? And, he's <laughs> and he said to her, Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Faith. Go in peace. While he was still speaking, someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Do not be afraid, only believe. Do not be afraid, only believe. Have faith. Believe. And she will be made well. Hmm. When he came into the house, he permitted no one to go in except Peter, James, and John and the father and mother of the girl. Now all wept and mourned for her, but, she, but he said, Do not weep. She is not dead, but sleeping. Hmm. And they ridiculed him <clears throat> that she was dead. And they ridiculed him knowing that she was dead. But he pulled them all aside, took her by the hand and called, saying, Little girl, arise. Then her spirit returned, and she arose immediately. If you catch on to that. Then her spirit returned. Hmm. A little, little stuff to chew on. Then her spirit returned. Her spirit went somewhere. Then it returned. Huh. Okay? 
as she was doing what? Sleeping. Her spirit went somewhere, which put her into a state of sleep. But when Jesus said, little girl, arise, her spirit returned to her. And she arose immediately. And he commanded that she be given something to eat. And her parents were astonished. But he charged them to tell no one what had happened. Hmm. It's all right here. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. It's our read for today. I try to put it in a chapter a day for you and for me. You guys be blessed. God over everything. Jesus is king. Bye.